Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Year of Boxes. Today we are having a look at the limited edition summer suspense box from Sweet Reads Box. Now Sweet Reads Box is a monthly book subscription that we review on the website all the time. I have unboxed their regular box for you guys a few times as well. But you may not be aware, they come out with the best limited edition boxes. They do quite a few actually. Right now they have a cat one, so a cat lover's limited edition box, a dog lover's limited edition box. I think they have a Halloween and one for the kids. They sell out so fast. I can't remember exactly how much the summer one was, but they usually are around $95 to $100. Their regular subscription is $80 per month. They're shipping to Canada right now and shipping is free and in every box you are going to get obviously a book and you're going to get a snack and a beverage and a few other goodies that tie into the book in some way. Now with the limited limited edition boxes some of the items tie into the book but I think some of the items also are more tied into the theme. So this was the summer suspense box. So some of the items have a summer theme. Does that make sense? Hopefully. This is our product card on the front. It has a picture and a quote, which usually ties into the book. And then on the back, it lists all of the items, what they, does it tell us? No, it doesn't tell us what they retail for. A little bit about them tells us if they're Canadian or not. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm just gonna dig right in. We have our snacks on top. I love that they include snacks in every box. And I'm very excited about these ones because ever since I was pregnant, I crave chips. It's ridiculous. I could eat them all day, every day. So the fact that we've got two bags, we have sea salt and pepper, and then we have a sweet potato. These are gonna be gone in no time. It was actually very hard not to eat them prior to filming this. Next up, we have this really fun spatula. So this is what I mean when I said that some of the items tie into the theme of the box. It has a summer theme. So here we have really fun, bright yellow, hello, sunshine spatula. Perfect for summer, I love it. Next up, we have some glow-in-the-dark cards. And now, while I'm not going to use these, my nieces are going to love these. Perfect if you go camping in the summer on a regular basis or just to use at home uh, in the dark. I don't know, you're outside around a campfire. I, I don't know. So many fun ways you could use these. Just a quick peek. I haven't taken the plastic off yet, but they're kind of see-through. And then this part here is obviously going to glow. I thought that was fun. Next up, we have some book plates. This is perfect for me. I've been lending out my books a lot lately. I think it's because we're all stuck at home and I think all of us are starting to read more often. And while most of the books I just tell my friends to pass on to somebody else when they're done, some I do want back. I keep my favorites and I have like a little collection. So this will be perfect. I can use these book plates uh, to say this book belongs to and keep track of the books that I don't want to lose. Next, we have this really cute clothespin photo holder. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take it out of here because I want you to see the cute, or there, you can see them there. The adorable little clothespins. So it has two suction cups on either end and you're gonna hang it on the wall and then use the little clothespins to hold your pictures. I thought that was really, really cute. Our beverage for the limited edition box is this pineapple coconut flavored mix. Perfect for uh, making alcoholic beverages. Add a little rum and soda. I think this would be so good. It's just a package of powder in there. Nothing really to show you guys. And it's supposed to be three servings. Then we have a late flat notebook, pretty straightforward. It's got blank pages. I would have loved it if it was lined, but regardless, I love notebooks. I love that it's lay flat and I love the neutral, simple design on it. Here we have some reusable glass straws. Love this. If I had to choose between bamboo, stainless, and glass, I would choose glass when it comes to straws. I have one. I use it all the time and I love it. The cool thing about these is that they're different colors. So if you have a few people living in your house, then you can each have your own and that way you always know which one's yours. I don't know what you want to do with that, but I think that was kind of fun. And our book for the summer suspense box is Dark August. Pretty perfect considering we're still in August. Now, I've just started reading this. I'm about that far in. And it is 
I would say a suspense, mystery, um, kind of crime type book. I'm not explaining that right. There's a word I'm looking for and it's not coming to my head. Basically, the main character inherits her grandma's house. She goes back to this house that she grew up in and discovers some of her mom's old cold case files and somehow starts to work on one of them that was never solved. I'm going to leave it at that. It was a little, not slow at the start, but for the first few chapters, I just wasn't totally into it. But the more I read, the more I'm liking it. So I'm going to continue on with this one. Quick recap. We have our book. We have our glass straws, our glow in the dark cards, our spatula, our book plates. We have our drink mix down here. We have our two bags of chips. We have our photo holder and we have our notebook. Lots of fun stuff. I feel like this was packed full. I like how everything does kind of tie into the book. I didn't touch on the ways some of the items tie into the book. Um, but for example, a photograph is a very important part of the book. So that ties the photo holder in. But I also love that some of them are just summary, like the drink mix and the spatula. I'm going to leave it at that. What do you guys think about limited edition boxes? Do you love them? Would you like to see them more often? What do you think about sweet reads? Tell me all the things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more.